Good evening and welcome to the US 441 at Lake Park Court Median Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Richard Smith and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. We encourage your feedback and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992400-1. For online participants in the GoToWebinar application, you will see a set of icons in the top right corner of the menu bar. Click the questions icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the questions panel. Type your question into the field where the red arrow is now pointing to and hit send to submit your question or comment to project staff. To download documents about the project, click on the materials icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the documents panel. Inside are project files that can be viewed or downloaded. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, click the Questions icon at the bottom of your screen. This will open the Questions panel where you can enter your question or comment into the field and hit Send. Click the Handouts icon at the bottom to open the Documents panel where you will find project files to view and download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to chuck at valerian-group.com to report it. You may also call 1-833-851-8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720. By phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located in Lake County at the intersection of Lake Park Court and US 441, also known as State Road 44 and State Road 500. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 992400-1. The purpose of this project is to enhance safety by controlling and improving traffic flow and reducing places where a crash can occur. 
What makes this project necessary? The Florida Department of Transportation gathered crash data at this intersection between 2020 and 2022. Since January 2020, there have been 24 crashes, resulting in 11 injuries and one fatality. This is an average of eight crashes per year. One of the most important responsibilities of the Florida Department of Transportation is to ensure that the design of each state road properly balances access and mobility. Access management, the regulation of intersections and median openings, is used to provide this very important balance. A basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points, or points along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross, just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. One way to limit conflict points is by minimizing the number of median openings and restricting certain movements at some median openings. Currently, this section of US 441 is a six-lane divided highway with an open median that allows U-turns and left turns onto Lake Park Court, as well as left turns from Lake Park Court onto US 441. The proposed improvements at this intersection include converting the existing full median opening to a westbound directional median and modifying the directional signage and pavement markings accordingly. These proposed changes will continue to allow U-turns and left turns onto Lake Park Court from westbound US 441. As seen on this artist's rendering, vehicles will only be permitted to make a right turn from Lake Park Court onto eastbound US 441. Drivers wishing to travel west on US 441 from Lake Park Court will be required to turn right and use one of the two next available U-turn locations. This median improvement will reduce many potential conflict points, making the roads safer for all users by increasing mobility and efficiency, reducing congestion, and allowing more vehicles to safely navigate the roadway. In a survey of drivers across five Central Florida projects involving access management changes, 78% said they felt safer, and 84% felt that traffic moved better. If the department proceeds with this concept, the design work is anticipated to be completed in the fall of 2024 at an estimated cost of $25,000. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is funded for 2025 at an estimated cost of $100,000. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 6, 2024, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992400-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Richard Smith directly by email at richard.smith at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, 
Mail Station 562, The Land, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Richard Smith at 386-943-5326 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 992400-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by May 6, 2024. Have a good evening.